and we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts, with a video that will really make you want to survive outdoors. Mm -hmm. Because we have the top five best survival knives overall. And 2020. Mm -hmm. This way, this was a, um, I guess, a really difficult video to do because we wanted to do the best survival knives of 2020. Mm -hmm. But then we thought, ah, you know, we can't leave out some of these greats because. You know, I mean, there's only a few that we would add this year mm -hmm. to and the total. A lot more we would add to the yeah, other. Yeah, I mean, if you want a survival knife, you want a great exactly. one. Exactly. Not just a great one from this year. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I know, like always, we had to dial it back. Because we kept, if we kept all the ones we wanted to do, this would be like an eight-hour show. So. Mm, which we know you guys would love. I know I wouldn't want to be here that long. Hey, popcorn and beer for eight hours? <laughs> oh, you mean here on this side? Yes. Neither would I. Oh. I guess Atlantic Knife would need a few other people. Or new people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To announce number five of the best survival blades, and that is the Extrema Ratio Giant Mamba. We just jumped right into it. What? Now, as we said, there are a lot of options. To choose from, yeah. So. so just hear us out. So we chose this knife for number five for several reasons. I'm going to give you guys a close up of it just so you can see. It has a Bowler N690 blade. Great steel, perform, performs really well. It's close to that of VG10. Um, a little better than 440. Well, not a little better, a lot better than 440C stainless. Second, mm -hmm. the sheath on this knife is outstanding. It is. I've always loved Extrema Ratio sheaths. Yeah, well, this one is specifically, specifically <laughs> has a dampening system to avoid, I'll say it right, blade rattle. Yeah, I'm not hearing nothing. Twin button safety loop. Yeah. Anti-rotation thigh strap. I'm not going to demonstrate that for you. Joke to kept to myself. Sorry. And oh, joke you kept. A simple <laughs> disengagement. Wow. So, best part? I know the best part. What is it? Molly compatible belt sheath. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We also really liked the regular Mamba mm -hmm. that we, we guys remember we did a while back. I think we did it on the Extreme Ratio. Yes, we did brand spotlight so like this one it comes in a variety of colors it's got tan wolf gray black green mm -hmm. this one was new for this year right mm -hmm. all right so it's a regular one so now it was a little bit long at 11 and a half inches yeah had a six and a half inch blade which you know it is a bit long for a survival knife i would think mm -hmm. just a little i don't know i do like the really large jimping but it's a little long it'd be more long you made it like an inch or two longer, it'd be like a machete. <laughs> so, well, I feel like there's really a lot of large jimping. There is a lot and a landed hole. Yeah. So we forgave it, you know. Yeah, we you gotta overlook some things, you know. And it's just two hundred eighty-two twenty-five at AtlanticKnife.com. If you can't learn to forgive, yeah. You know, well, no. Sometimes that. you don't have to forgive. Because somebody has done something completely unspeakable that you cannot forgive them for. She's talking about my mother-in-law. Now! Was I? And she still hasn't moved, but she is really progressing. <laughs> I'm hoping to give some good news by the end of the year. Hoping. Yes. So we also considered price, so that's why this one was a little lower. Yeah, so. yeah, a little, little pricey. A little now, our number four on the list is a new knife for this year. It is the Fall Niven S1. Yes. The newer version of Fall Niven came out this year. Uh, this model is, I'll show you guys, 9.75 inches overall with a 5.25 VG10 stainless steel clip point blade. This version has the satin finish, but there are other finishes available. Along with the older version with different steels as well. Mm-hmm. Like there's one that has a tungsten or something. And that one's like 200 and something. So this model has a black thermoron handle, which I really like because it stands up really well to heat and water, weather, I mean, aging, it, any type of liquid you might accidentally spill on it. Mm, not like, to mention, yeah. comes with a black side tail belt sheath. It does. Which I think is simple and easy to work. Yeah, I just, I'd like a little more options. I mean, overall, I think it's an okay sheath. I mean, it's fine, it works well. I just think, you know, I'd like a little more bells and whistles, like the, uh, Giant Mamba sheath, you know, Molly compatible and belt loops. There is a lot more to it, but you know, I feel like this one you can wear if you're wearing regular clothes or you're just out camping. I think you need camouflage and a Russian accent. 
with this thing right now. I mean, I feel like we should be on snowmobiles with M M6, 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 M6 really? M16s. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's that type of, I mean, it's a nice type of love it to death, don't get me wrong, but it just says, don't mess with me. All right. I thought that was kind of the point. In a survival situation, yeah. I don't think the bears will care. You want to intimidate whatever comes along. Okay, I got you. Are you going to stand that, huh? Yes. Okay. All right, so, however, we made this knife number four mm -hmm. because of the way the knife holds up to use, the VG-10 steel, and it's cost-effective. Mm -hmm. At only one fifty nine eighty four. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I teach you my sign? Yeah, I was waiting. Also, the VG-10 is higher-end Japanese steel, so good hardness, sharp edge retention. Mm -hmm. uh, the steel is more widely used on like knives like Spyderco Delica and Endura. So. Mm -hmm. Kershaw, uh, not Kershaw. Kaiser, Kaiser. Used, used to use a lot of it. They don't want to do it anymore. They're on to the N690. Mm. All right, so, are you ready? Mm. This knife is number four because it cuts well. Mm -hmm. Handles really well also. Exactly. So, time to move on. Yep, that means what made number three? Number three. Yep, we'll tell you right after you like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way we can keep up the show and the weekly giveaways. In the biz, we call that a tease. <laughs> Right now we're on YouTube. We're supposed to cut commercial if we're going to do a tease. That way you yeah. would come back and stay I, after the I'm commercial. I'm not ready to monetize our commercial. I don't, I don't like we that. have our own commercial. I can't stand when I'm watching a YouTube thing and it's like listening to a video or something. And it's like, and some guy starts talking about the that. eyeglasses. Yeah, I love the eyeglasses one where he, he, I can't remember what exactly happens. I know I like it though because every time it comes, I'm like, you know what? I'll watch oh, this. Oh, Warby Parker? I think that's it. Oh, yeah, I bet it is. For 95 bucks, you get five I pair know. of glasses to try. <laughs> Send them back to I us. I think he has like a beer one. at one point. He's like, this is a really good commercial. And then it ends. Okay. All right, so right now on YouTube, we're giving away the Joker Bushcraft Nomad. Yes. Very nice. Tell our friends cord. at Joker, thank you for this. Thank you very much. Well, on AK's blog, we're giving away the Joker Nesmuk S. Curly burr will handle. No. So make sure to answer the AK trivia question on there. And Where are we giving like that away at? The AK blog. All right, all right. Make sure to answer there and poof like magic, you're entered. By the way, mm. I think both of these Joker knives were contenders for best survival blades. Yes, I think yes. both of these knives were sold out. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's the way it always works it with is. us. It is. So, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to enter. And these giveaways are just the tip of the iceberg for AK's Spectacular Holiday Extravaganza. So, starting on December 14th, Atlanta Knife and Ultra X will be hosting a special Knife a Day giveaway, where each day we will give away an Ultra X knife, like this one. The best. What? Yeah. Every day you're giving away a knife? Yes. Are you serious? Every day. 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 Okay. So you really were giving away every day? Yes. That's a lot of work. I know it is. I know it is. I'm glad you're handling it. But it's because I don't care. <laughs> Thanks to Ultra X. I, oh. Ultra awesome there, guys. Was that a little lame? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. That will be happening on Facebook and Instagram, so make sure to tune and follow and let it knife on there for that. I'm going to flip a dot com anyway. There you go. Links are in the description below. All right. Every day? Every day. That is crazy. I know. Wow. I know. Wow. Seven days. All a right. week of Ultra X giveaways. So, our number three knife. <laughs> Tell us what it is, Joel. The SE Model 4. Really? I have Model 4, too. Well, I love this one. I like yours better, too. Do you? Yes, I do. Do you now? I don't think you do. No, I do. I, I do. love this one. Except I will say that I do like the Macarta handles. But I like that handle, too. You go I ahead. I love this one. All right. This knife specifically. This model. Oh, the color. Mm-hmm. That's not why we made number three, is it? No, no. <laughs> of course not. I'm going to show you guys on here. This knife is just right. At 9 inches overall with a 4.5 inch 1095 high carbon steel blade, this version has the green powder coating, um, one of Essie's newer options. There's also a tan, an OD green powdered, and an orange, all available in their models 5 and 6 as well, like the one we used on the Halloween episode, the orange one. Mm -hmm. should totes check that out if you missed it. But Halloween's over. 
They don't know that. Not for me, it isn't. Got the witch hat earrings. It's the only problem with it, dressing for holidays. You only get one day to wear all your stuff, and I don't have more than one uh, pierced hole in my ear that there. That you can so. see. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, Why because my tattooed head. Why would you head. say that? That's why I have to keep That's it not covered. what they're thinking right now. Oh, I'm sure they aren't thinking that. If they're thinking that now, they were thinking that before. They were not. <laughs> Who has a Chains in places you can't. <laughs> what, what, uh, what year is that again? I'm not even sure what that means. So the, I think you did know what that All means. All right. Anyway, so the, I put the back, I'm sorry. Essie made number three because they make great survival knives and machetes, all that other stuff. It's also 1095 HC. What? So the blade was a big factor in this one. Are you okay. serious? Yeah, it comes in at 64 plus about on the HRC scale while the VG10 is more about 62. Hmm. So this knife can really handle those extra camping survival tasks. You know. All right, so what you're saying Shop is this stuff. knife can take a beating. Yes, though so the steel on this will rust if you do not take care of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So clean it after using and oil it when needed. And I had a saying, but I'll keep that to myself. I'll be like a Mr. Medford and I'll come right through here and I will just take it away from you. Finally, this knife has a 3D machined G10 handle, which mm -hmm. she's showing you now. There it is. Black and green on this version. Slightly mm -hmm. better material than the Fourpreen on the Mamba. Yeah, or the Thermo, Thermo Run on the Fall Niven, so. Finally, this version comes with a black molded plastic belt sheath. Mm-hmm. With adjustable paracord lanyard. Yeah, that's nice. I like the adjustable paracord lander. Mm -hmm. So, this made number three because it's got 1095 HRC steel blade. Mm-hmm. Handle material, G10, which is better than the other ones. Mm -hmm. The price is good. Handles are removable. And the size is good. Endless options of color. Size is not bad. Mm -hmm. I like the size. Yeah. I think size is a preference on the on the Essies. That's why they got three, four, and five, yeah. six. Yeah. So you just get a little longer. If, you but know. this one's nice. Yeah. Serrated or non. You got that one. Smoking or non-smoking. Smoking. It's timeless, really. I really love this green one, but they also have the OD green powder one I mentioned, and that one's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a black and blue one, too, that me and the camera girl both like. That one's nice. I just don't have enough money. I need to have don't the Federal have the Reserve, one? like, right in my living room. A pink one? Yeah. They might. They just demonetize you. Ouch. You so, know, yeah. I don't think you'd find a uh, survival knife show that wouldn't have an se on it i i think you probably wouldn't have survival list if you didn't have at least one se All or right. consider se steer us down the brings road brings us to number two number two number two, two, two. Mm -hmm. so go ahead uh just met with the bobs the tops bob fieldcraft I, hunter i didn't know they were meeting yeah they called me at home yeah okay can you go away like i'm busy playing tetris you know bob <laughs> I only, only do about 15 minutes of work, real work in any given week. So, Peter, what's happening? Listen. I don't know. Did you right, get I'm your go now. slip? <laughs> no. I didn't get one either. I looked. Some I even went to my locker thing. and see if there was a red card hanging there. Yeah. And there wasn't one there. Are you either. sure? Yeah. Are you sure there wasn't a red card? You, know you just thought I'm it was hoping? green? You know, I'm colorblind? hoping there's not a glitch ah. that they're going to fix. Oh, me neither. Yeah. Okay, so tough call on this one. It was between this one, the Brachimo, and several other ones. Several other. But we landed on this one because it's 10 inches overall mm -hmm. with a 4.75 inch 1095 high carbon steel blade. While the handle is mm -hmm. tan canvas micarta. Mm -hmm. All right, nailed there it. There it is. So the handle material is a little higher end on this. Uh, mm -hmm. And I tend to prefer micarta, I think, over G10. No, when I said that a little while ago, you're like... Well, I like it on the SE. I like it better on this one, though. Mm -hmm. I like the micarta on this. <laughs> when given a choice, I'd probably I'd probably go with micarta. Mm -hmm. So, also comes with a black Kydex sheath, I'll show you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, top survival whistle. Mm -hmm. And a ferro rod. Mm -hmm. All right. Really? Yes, I had to. You did not French have French fried taters. <laughs> Somebody said that oh, we goodness. were funny, ha ha. And do they do that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's also a lanyard hole and other blade finishes. Oh, goodness. And other color micarta options. You can't beat the bob. Though. Yeah, this one has the camo uh, finish, so. Mm hmm so. Obviously, the handles are removable, mm -hmm. which we like that. You need to be able to clean it. 
Exactly. So, you know, mm. that's where I'm at with it. I love the bob. Do you? I like the length and I like the materials. It's a little heavier than the SE, which I usually don't like for knives I have to lug around. But I think for a survival knife, you're better going with something heavy duty. If you were going to do some chopping with it, you want it to be a little heavy. Exactly. Um, you can use like a you know hammer, hammer some stakes or mm -hmm. you got your uh, cut quick, start fires. Yeah. I mean, you could do it all with this entire setup they got going on. I believe the end there is a uh, pry bar. Oh my goodness, it an is an actual pry it's bar like that you can really exactly, use. Exactly, specifically made like a bow drill hole divot. Mm -hmm. That is, that's nice. I'm sure you can use it for that. And just about anything else you need it for is right there. Can't beat that. Yeah. And it's only one forty nine eighty four at. You can do it this time. So that does bring us to the piece de resistance. And I think these actually can come in at like 129 also, depending on the finishes. You say piece de resistance, and he's like, hey, wait, wait, let's go back to this yeah, one. Yeah, okay, piece de resistance. All right. Oh, I had to top it. Okay, go ahead. The number one best you didn't survival see this knife. Until now. <gasps> okay. And that is, I'm going to Clark Griswold. <laughs> Joy to the world. The K bar Becker B. K2? Is that correct? It's more than Becker. But K bar B. Also known as the Becker Campanion. Okay, a few words come to mind when I see this knife. Are you ready? I'm ready. Wendy's Colt Brute. See, I thought you were going to go with uh, the thing from Friday where they're like, yeah, everybody's <laughs> leaning back. I didn't think that language is appropriate, so that's why I didn't. Yeah, well, you'll edit that if you don't think it's appropriate. And we can just be like, mm. <laughs> just People be like, fudge. why is he good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's the one you should use. All right. Okay, so. I'll let you go ahead. You let me go first? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this thing is massive. Mm -hmm. Not just in the length, but in everything, every other sense. Uh, let me show you guys, okay? Just so you can get a, a real sense of it. This knife is 10.75 inches overall with a 5 inch black powder coated 1095 Crow Van carbon steel draw point blade. I didn't do the thickness on this, but trust me, it, <laughs> it's not millimeters. Well, you know, it could be like a centimeter. It's more than a centimeter. More than go centimeter. ahead. Okay. This handle is black grivery. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, it's similar to FRN, like a material Inspire Co. uses on their handles. Mm hmm. And it's the exact same thing as Cold Steel's Gribex. They just call it that because it sounds cooler. And they can mark it. But, wow. I yeah. didn't say that, but she did. I, directly from the mouth of the babes, Chip. Now this knife also has a full tang, mm -hmm. lanyard hole, and a black nylon belt sheath. There it is, guys. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's not strictly a uh, Molly system compatible, but still attach it to Man, a pack. you can put it anywhere you and want to. And anything else. Yeah, really. Exactly. Some people like Kydexes, but this thing's got the hard inside. Mm -hmm. You're good. Got the little pouch. Yeah, so you can put whatever you want in Sharpening stone, wet stone, yeah. whatever you want to in there. So, you know. Bailboatlandknife.com. All right, so here we go. That wasn't even part of the reasons why it's number one. <laughs> but here we go, number one. This is why. High quality. Exactly. Obviously. USA made tactical and survival knives. Can't beat that. It's Becker and Kabar. <laughs> Okay. Has a nice little area there. It keeps your finger from sliding forward and back. Mm. So you can use it almost like the, like a, what would you call that? Like a D-guard, but it's not. You should be taking it and just. Sorry. I mean, you can just do anything with it. You can look at it and say, you know what? I can use this in any situation. This one in particular, though, is simple in appearance. Mm -hmm. And it's perfect. You can. For survival needs. You can do anything to it. Mm-hmm. I think you could even chop with it. Now, you know what I want in mine. Oh, go ahead. I'll let you go. I won't, I won't. So it's a huge knife that comes with a great sheath for a great price. I really don't think we need to add anything else to this. Exactly. Knife. I think it's self-explanatory. Change the handle, some paracord, whatever Change you need. Change the handle, add paracord, all that stuff. Exactly. No mumbling. Get to the best part. See? Get to the best part. <sighs> the price. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's under 100 bucks. Exactly. Under 100 bucks. That means you have a few more dollars to buy paracord. Ferro rod, sharpening stone, survival Nabs, whistle. six pack of beer, Yeti cooler. I mean. Yo, well, you don't have enough to get a Yeti cooler. You can well, get a knockoff of depends. a Yeti cooler. <laughs> depends. Hey, you get, can get, a, get you a Bass Pro Shop cooler. Exactly. No, don't get one of those, by the way. They'll email you eight times a day. 
If you guys, are you speaking from experience there? If you guys think we left anything off the list, or if you think a different knife should have been number one, leave a comment down below. Before we ask you to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. Along with ringing the bell. Ring the bell. We want to do our honorable mentions. Yeah. So, for this Best Survival Knives episode, we also considered the Topps Tom Brown Tracker. And Mini Tracker. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to tell you what. That'd be my number two. But I understand. Not a lot of people like people, that. Yeah, I know, I know, but I do. It would be my I number two. I think it's two. great, too. But it was also a little older model, and we want to include some more stuff from this year, too. So I know, I know. It was it was a tough call. There's lots of things we could have considered. We also thought about the Cold Steel 49 LCKD, which we're going to give the great budget survival knife, the best for this year. But as C might have pointed out, we're not really doing just budget knives. We're doing surviving out in the bush knives. So mm -hmm. you kind of don't want a budget knife there. You want the best you can get. Well, this so. this is the Fall Nibbin S1 with SK5 steel. Yeah. So there you go. Exactly. We thought about the Model 4. Well, we, we, the, uh, the as SC the most models popular. The 5, 6. Yeah. Tops for chemo. But we went Model 4 because mm -hmm. of the size, of course. Finally, we considered several different condor knives. Condor like knives. African bush knife. Which would have been my number one. Look, I liked it too. And we also liked the Moonstalker. Like this thing. The Moonstalker and the other one. What's the other one? The big leaf. Exactly, yeah. But those were more like machete spear-like knives. Look, if you go drop me in the woods. So we, we nixed them. I want this thing. Except you just said you hate knives. I'll throw the sheath away and just carry it. I like the leather. I like that it's handmade. Oh, I like that I, too. I it's nice. nice. It's nice looking. It is. But you can chop down a tree with this sucker. Look, didn't Matt Graham approve everything about that? I I'm he, not I thought, sure. I thought he picked up and he was like, here it is. I'm pretty sure I saw him on his video. He may have. Matt's a different kind of dude. Too. Matt's a different kind of dude. <laughs> okay. All I'm right. mumbling. Also, don't forget to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. I don't think it was. Mm -hmm. We need to be separately mic. That way you're entered in our giveaways. And so we can keep doing these AK Blade episodes. Coming up on season three of AK. Wait a minute. Was today episode 49? 49. Does that mean this was 99? Mm, I don't think so. I think we did 50. We messed it up last year. We did like 52 in like January because we started a little later. Oh, we started no. doing our AK Blade episode. We missed episodes. our 100 episode? No, we didn't miss it. If this is 49 and now it's 52, we missed it. We didn't miss it. Huh. We did not miss it. I don't we know. did not we'll miss it. We had to go it. back and check. If we keep doing this, we're going to get syndicated. <laughs> as long as you don't ask for more money. Uh, well, we're being also a star. On... Yeah. <laughs> oh, being the star. <laughs> yeah. We're also on Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, no, Instagram, Instagram, IGTV, and Parlor. I'm taking it. Yeah. It's one of your better lines. Make sure to keep this tab. Make, Make sure, sure to, to keep, keep tabs, tabs on, on us. us. He cannot get this line correct. <laughs> Make sure to keep tabs on us on all those social media outlets for special giveaways, new knife updates, photos, AtlantaKnife.com sales. And our continuing spectacular holiday, holiday extravaganza. extravaganza. With that. Why do you feel the need to say it like that? You sound C. pretentious when you say it that way. And this is... Jewel. Just pretentious Jewel. Oh. And we are signing off.